Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in our previous session, we have seen what are the different types of prompts in prompt engineering. And from today's session, we'll see each prompt with an examples. Okay, so let us start with the first type of prompt that is a zero shot prompt. So the first type of prompt is zero shot prompt. So the prompt is most important in Gen AI because so how clearly we are mentioning the prompt that much clearly we will be getting the output. So that is very important while writing the prompt. So zero shot prompt means the first one there will be no examples given in the prompt. So the first point no examples. So we are not giving any kind of examples to the prompt how the output should be generated. So no examples were given in prompt. So we are not specifying any examples. Okay, And the prompt, the output will be completely depends upon the instruction which we are passing out. So the AI model, the AI model completely rely on pre-trained knowledge because we are not giving any kind of information. So that is completely depending upon the pre-trained knowledge. So we said that any AI model will be trained with a massive data set. So purely from that pre-trained knowledge, the output will be generated. So the model completely depends upon instruction. So here the instruction means a prompt. Completely it will be depending upon the prompt. Okay. And it is a quick. Okay. It is a quick and not quick and not always accurate that's the most important it is quick but it is not always accurate it will give the accurate result but not always accurate and how we have to give the prompt means the prompt should be given in a natural language instructions natural language instructions means with a simple language so prompt should be given in simple English simple English because so we'll give we will write these instructions in an English so we have to use in a simple English and prompts should be short and concise the prompt should be short and concise okay and this uh, zero shot prompts will be used for a general purpose tasks okay so used for general tasks so what are these general tasks the first one translation translation so that means if you want to translate from one language to another language so for that this uh, zero shot prompt will be useful and the second one summarization so if you are having a lot of material lot of paragraphs and if you want to summarize that paragraph okay in a few sentences so for that also we will be using this zero shot prompt And next one, translation, summarization, and question and answers. Simple question and answers. So we'll be asking some questions and it will be giving some answers. Okay, question and answers. And sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis. So we'll be giving some uh, statements 
and uh, we are asking about to which uh, sentiment it will be depending right so i'll show you each uh, examples for each and every task okay so we'll uh, use these prompts in the system okay i'll show you it in the system and similarly extraction of text extraction of text so simply classification or a category okay and defining the category also will use these zero short prompts so these are very few so for these kind of general purpose tasks we, we it will be suitable to use a zero short prompts okay so without delay let us move on to the system and i will show you one example for each one task okay so that you will be understanding in perfect way so let us move on to the system yes hello friends so just now we have seen uh, what are the tasks we can do with uh, zero short prompts and now we'll see uh, in execution so let us consider the first thing that is a translation so for the translation as i said that in order to translate from one language to another language so let me give you the prompt so the prompt is translate to telugu so i i just want to translate uh, the given sentence into telugu so translate the given sentence to telugu so i am giving uh, the sentence in uh, double quotations so i am learning generative ai so i am just giving this prompt so here i am not giving any kind of examples right so i have not given any example just i am asking the question and it will give the answer so you can see so this is a complete uh, translation of uh, english sentence nenu generative kritima medassu nerchukuntunnanu so this is a complete information so that is that is one uh, uh, task where this zero short prompt will be used okay direct translations okay the next one is the summarization so let us go with the summarization so coming to the summarization so i'll give the thing so just use these kind of words in the prompts right so if you want to translate use the word translate and if you want to summarize the paragraph just give the same thing summarize the paragraph in one sentence so give that constraints also right so i am using here uh, i am giving ai uh, is oh, sorry ai is used in healthcare comma finance and education to improve efficiency to improve efficiency so i just want to uh, summarize this particular paragraph you can extend this one so uh as the time constraint i am just giving only one sentence okay summarize the paragraph in one uh yeah one sentence I just give this one so automatically we'll get it and ai enhances efficiency in healthcare finance and education so it will it will summarize the paragraph you can consider any any other paragraph okay the complete paragraph and you can summarize this one so, and uh, the next one sentiment analysis so i'll i'll show you one example for the sentiment analysis so here see one type of prompt so determine uh, the sentiment in three categories one is a positive negative positive negative and a neutral okay neutral so neutral of i need to give the sentence here okay so i'll give the sentence yes the movie was good okay so i have given one sentence that the movie was good and based upon that sentence i just want to know whether it is a positive statement negative statements or a neutral statement that kind of thing we call it as a sentiment analysis okay so in this kind of sentiment analysis also the zero shot prompts will be 
useful. So, if I give this one, see, yes, sentiment is a positive. Okay. So, if I change this one, let us say, I will go with average. Okay. The movie was average. Now, I just want to check the sentiment of this particular set. So, you can see it is a neutral. Neutral. So, based upon the sentence we are giving, so it was representing the sentiment. Either it is a positive statement, negative or a neutral. So, for this kind of sentiment analysis also, this uh, zero short prompts will be used. And the next one is a question and answers. A simple question and answers. Okay. So, you can go with a, what is the square of uh, 12. What is the square of 12? So, direct question. Okay. We will get the answer here. See, so let us calculate carefully. So, it will be giving 12 into 12 that is equal to 144. So, direct answer. So, here also we are not giving any kind of examples. Direct, we are asking the question. It was giving the output. Okay. Direct instructions. Simply we can say direct instructions. And the next one is the text classification. So, based upon the statement, we can classify the text into different categories. So, let us see the prompt. So, classify, classify, the statement is the company announced a new AI powered product today. Okay. Under the categories, under the categories, we have to give the categories in which categories we need to give, right? So, the, I am giving the categories as technology, sports, politics. See, classify the statement geez, based upon the different categories. Among those categories, what is that? So, technology, sports, and politics. So, this kind of uh, uh, Text classification also will be using the zero prompt. So, text classification. So, do not worry, I will give everything in the description. Okay, you can just practice. Example, one example for each task. And the next one is a paraphrasing. So, if you want to rearrange the statement or reform the statement, okay. So, you need to use the words like a paraphrase. Paraphrase. the rapid advancement of technology is transforming our daily lives. So, I just want to paraphrase this one. Okay. Reform. Simply we can say reform. See, the same thing, the rapid advancement of technology is transforming our daily lives is reformed to the fast growth of technology is changing the way we live every day right hope you understood so we can give the sentence or a paragraph and you can paraphrase it okay reframe it so that's a one, one more uh, general task another one is a task completion so task completion so you can simply ask the question like uh, uh, arrange the given numbers in ascending order i will give some elements 10 100 20 200 30 400 so obviously we'll be get let arrange the form from smallest to largest which is a ascending order so completion it's called as a task completion okay task completion so direct question and we'll be getting the answer and the next one is a direct instruction direct instructions so so, uh, what are the first 10 prime numbers? So, direct instruction. This is a direct instruction. So, which comes with the uh, question and answers also. Okay. This we have seen in a question and answers. Similar to that, the direct instructions without any um, examples. Okay. And also, text simplification. So, this is similar to our uh, paraphrasing or summarization. Okay. So, I will give you the same thing. So, simplify. 
simplify utilizing ai algorithms can significantly optimize computational process okay so if i am unable to understand this particular sentence i can use the word called a simplify so automatically it will simplify the statement and it will give using ai algorithms can greatly improve a computational efficiency okay right so these are the different tasks which are suitable for zero shot prompts okay so we have seen a translation summarization sentiment analysis q and a text classification paraphrasing task completion instruction and uh, text simplification so don't forget to use these words before the sentence you are giving so as i said the how clarity we are giving the prompt in that particular uh, i mean that reflects on the quality of output output generated by the model a model okay yes so hope you understood this zero shot prompts once again these zero shot prompts are mainly used for a quick tasks okay so whenever we want to get an instant uh, results so then we can go with the zero shot prompts so hope you understood this one and uh, yes uh, uh, hope you enjoyed the session and if you really like my session uh, give a thumbs up and feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much